my first grade. So I know that we've started to work with the exciting world of time this week, and I wanted to show you my Judy clock. So we have this Judy clock, and these are called Judy clocks because of how I can move them, but I wanted to start with, let's start right here. So this time says, what do you think it says? I'll give you a second. Okay, this says one o'clock, and how I know it says one o'clock is because we have the hour hand right here, and I know that this is the hour hand because I have a little song that I sing in my head to know which one's the hour hand and which one is the minute hand. And when the hour hand is facing a number exactly right on it, it means that it's exactly one o'clock. So as I told you, I had a song. So the song is the hour hand is short. The hour hand is short. I can tell time because the hour hand is short. So if I just remember that the hour hand is short, I'll be able to help me with finding the time. So when I see that the one o'clock is right on the, the red hand is right on the one, it's one o'clock. And then check out what happens. Time, these little guys are on gear. So if I look back here, there's a gear. And as my minute hand goes around the clock, what do you see happening to that hour hand? That hour hand is slowly moving towards the next number. And that next number, well, what comes after one? Two. And as soon as my minute hand gets back to the top of the clock, it is now two o'clock because the hour hand is on the two. All right, but time keeps passing. So now the minute hand is slowly making its way around the clock. It's going all the way down. And now it is three o'clock. But time doesn't always have three o'clock, one o'clock, two o'clock. Sometimes you may hear someone say it's 3.30 or it's half past the hour, which means that we've gone 30 minutes into the next hour. So what that looks like is whenever I go to half past the hour or 30 minutes into the hour, my minute hand is now down at the six. So this time now means 3.30. All right, but my minute hand keeps traveling around. So now it is, all right, what time do you think it is first grade? All right, it's now four o'clock because the, it's at the top of the hour. Let's keep going. There's that minute hand traveling around and look at what's happening to my hour hand it's starting to move slowly towards the five now it's in between the four and the five the hour hand so it's four thirty okay and then we make it up to here and now it is five o'clock, but we keep going around, and now it is 5.30. So we can keep doing this forever and ever. And then right here, we got, oh, this one's a trickier one, but this is six o'clock because the hour hand is on the six, and the minute hand is at the top of the hour. I'll stop there today. If you want to replay this to start to, to quiz yourself, go for it. And we'll talk soon. Have a great day, guys.